The recording will have its greatest usefulness if you do not listen to it before you try it. Your first acquaintance with it should be while following its instructions. You need no special preparations. The recording tells you everything you need to know. Merely take your record player and the record into a quiet room where you can be alone for at least an hour. Then turn on the recording and begin to follow its instructions immediately. If you're the type of person who must listen before you try it, then don't attempt to follow the instructions at all on your first hearing. You can't try just a piece of the recording and expect to obtain results. Either you should become a student from the first experience with the record, when you still don't even know the method, or study the method in full before you try it. You need the method from beginning to end to experience it from beginning to end if it's to have any meaning to you. You can't learn this method intellectually. It's a process of emotional learning. You must try the full recording before you can understand it. And like everything else in life, the results will be in exact proportion to the sincerity and diligence with which you approach your task. May I state emphatically that this recording will not cure you of anything. It's not intended to take the place of a psychiatrist or a psychoanalyst or a psychologist. It likewise promises only that it will help normal people make fuller use of their personalities. Deep relaxation, the kind one achieves in self-hypnosis, brings us closer to our real selves with the superficial anxieties and worries of daily living out of the way. The record is not intended for amusement or entertainment. It was recorded with the cooperation of individuals who knew nothing at all about self-hypnosis and were experiencing the method for the first time. The pacing and timing is therefore geared to the novice, the person who has no acquaintance with the method and wants to learn it. The three subjects who were in the studio at the time of the recording learned to take themselves into self-hypnosis within the span of this recording. All of them were, of course, normal people. They wanted the method as a tool to make the most of their personalities. You may need some time to get acquainted with the method since some people learn more slowly than others. However, if you try it faithfully for a while and still have difficulty, I'll be most happy to hear from you and I'll try to give you some more detailed instructions. So, good luck with the great adventure of exploring your larger self. The first and most important thing is for you to learn to relax. And I'm going to teach you some very simple methods. First, make yourself comfortable. Take off your jackets, your ties, loosen any belts you might have. Take off your shoes. Make yourself really, really comfortable. If there's anything at all in your clothing that's tight, loosen it up. This is extremely important. You should not be aware in any way that you have clothing. Now it is possible when you really learn to relax later that you be able to do it standing up, sitting on an ordinary chair, lying on a couch, in any place. But in this initial part, when you're just learning the techniques, 
I suggest you just lie down on the floor. Select a floor that has a rug and spread a sheet or a blanket or something on the floor and just lie down flat on the floor and make yourself real, real comfortable. Relax as much as you can because on the floor you're able to relax every part of your body and on a couch or on a chair you're not initially. That's right, now just make yourself real comfortable. As comfortable as you can possibly be. Relax every part of yourself. Now take a very deep breath, and if you feel your belt or anything else, loosen it. Loosen your belts, your ties, your brassiers, your corsets, anything that's in any way tight. Now take a great big belly breath. If you feel your clothing at all, open them, loosen them. You should not be aware of any part of your clothing. You should be able to relax completely. All right, I'm going to teach you a few very, very simple rules for relaxation. There's nothing new about them. The yogi knew them years and years ago. The way to relax is to recognize tension. Now I'm going to ask you to try a few things just for exercise. I want you to wrinkle your brow very, very tightly. You see how that gives you a sense of worry? Just the muscles wrinkling up in that way give you the feeling of worry. Now relax completely. Relax. Now I'm going to ask you to grit your teeth tight. Just close your teeth tightly together. Do you see how that gives you the sense of anger? Let go. Let go completely. You can get a great many emotions just by tightening up your muscles. Now try something else. Shrug your shoulders real high toward your ears. Shrug them up. Shrug them up. You see how your whole body is filled with fear. And this is the essence of what we call psychosomatic medicine. You tighten up every organ in your body so it can't function. Now let go. Let go completely. I'm going to show you this thing in toto. If you will stiffen up your entire body and raise yourself from the middle so that you are propping your body on your heels and the back of your head, I will give you the total sensation of what tension can do to you. Tighten up your whole body so that you're resting on your heels and the back of your head. You see what tension can do for you? In that condition, you couldn't think straight. You couldn't do anything. This is the damage that tension can do to your body. Now relax completely. Relax, and I'm going to teach you how to relax individual parts of your body so you will recognize tension wherever it is. This is the important part of learning how to relax, that you recognize tension at any time and be able to relax any part of your body at any time at a moment's notice. Now let's try again, going from the top of your head down to your feet, and I want you to tense up each part of your body in succession. Wrinkle your brow and wrinkle it very, very tight. Now relax completely. Relax completely. The only way you'll begin to recognize tension is in the difference between tightening up and relaxing. Now grit your teeth completely tight, tight, tight. You get a sense of anger. Now drop your jaw. Drop your jaw so your teeth are open. Your teeth are not together. That's very good. Now take a deep chest breath. Deep chest breath. Push your chest way, way out. See how that gives you a sense of tension in all the organs in your chest. Let go completely. Let go completely. Now tighten your arms. Make a tight fist and tighten your arms completely. See how it gives you a sense of anger? Relax completely. Let your fingers hang limply from your wrist. Shake them a little so you're sure that your fingers hang limply. That's fine. Now tighten up your stomach. Push it away, way out. 
way, way out, way, way out. You know, you couldn't possibly have normal function with that kind of tension. Let go. Let go completely. Now stiffen up your knees so that your whole leg, your heel and everything, are very, very tight. In that condition, you are not in any mental frame of mind to do anything. Let go. Let go completely. Let go completely. Now try again, stiffening your whole body and supporting yourself from your heels and the back of your head and tense up every single part of your body. Tense, tense, tense. Relax completely, completely. Now, if you are aware of any part of your body, it is tense. Relax it. You should be completely unaware of any part of your body. And you should practice these relaxing exercises by first tensing up and then relaxing so there's not a muscle in your body that's tense. And now in this very, very relaxed state, I am going to teach you how to relax mentally. Close your eyes and feel a sense of complete calm. You don't feel tense anywhere in your body because you've learned how not to feel tense. Fancy yourself in a very, very pleasant scene. Fancy yourself in a canoe on a lovely lake. The sky is calm. There are lovely white fleecy clouds overhead. You're lying in a canoe, very restful. The waves are laughing against the canoe. You hear them. You hear them. The waves are laughing against the canoe. The boat is sailing, sailing, sailing. Now fancy yourself completely relaxed in this lovely canoe. Fancy yourself going out into the horizon, just drifting, drifting, drifting. You are very, very relaxed. You're more relaxed than you've ever been in your life. Your whole body feels fine. You just let go and you let yourself take advantage of this wonderful feeling. You are completely relaxed. You are worried about nothing. You're in this canoe, drifting, drifting, drifting. You're drifting off. The waves are lapping against the boat. And in this very relaxed condition, I want to teach you how to take deep breaths for further relaxation. I'm going to count to 10. And with each count, you will take a very, very deep breath. And with each count, you will go deeper and deeper into a lovely relaxing state, a state of complete relaxation in which you have no anxieties, no worries, no tensions of any kind. One, take a deep, deep breath. Go deeper and deeper into relaxation. You feel better than you've ever felt before in your life. Your entire body is relaxed. Two, a deep, deep breath, much deeper than before. And as you exhale, go into a deeper and deeper relaxation. Three, deep, deep breath, more and more relaxed. Four, deep breath, more relaxed. Five, deeper and deeper, and more and more relaxed. Six, deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed than you've ever been in your life. You feel wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling. You have never felt this relaxed. In this state, you are capable of anything you wish. Seven, a deep, deep breath. More and more relaxed. Let yourself go. Let yourself go completely. 
Don't try to be aware of what's going on around you. Just let yourself go. That's all there is to relaxation. Let go. Let go completely. Don't try to be aware of anything. Just let go. That's the secret of deep relaxation. Let go completely. Seven, a deep, deep breath. Now let go. Really let go. Don't try to hang on in any way. Eight, deep, deep breath. Let go. Let go. Nine, deeper and deeper and deeper, the deepest breath you can take. Let go. Go into deep, deep relaxation. Ten, deep, deep breath. Go into a deep, deep relaxation. You're beginning to feel very drowsy. Don't fight it. Let yourself feel drowsy. Your eyes are very, very heavy. Don't mind that. It's a good feeling. Just keep them closed. Your eyelids are getting heavier and heavier and heavier. This means you're getting more and more relaxed. They're getting heavier and heavier and heavier, which means they are more and more relaxed. Now I'm going to teach you how to test how relaxed you are. Raise your right arm to your shoulder. Raise your right arm. Raise it straight out, straight out, up toward the ceiling. Raise it straight, up toward the ceiling. Up toward the ceiling from the shoulder. From the shoulder, straight up. That's it. Now straighten it up and tighten it. Tighten it. Get tension in that arm. Make a fist. Tighten that arm. Now you feel it getting stiffer and stiffer. You feel it getting stiffer and stiffer. It's like an iron rod. It's like an iron rod. It's getting stiffer and stiffer. You try to bend it, but you can't. Try to bend it. You can't bend it. You can't bend it. It's stiff. You can't bend it. All right, now you can bend it. Relax and let go. Relax completely and let your arm fall. Relax completely and let your arm fall to your side. Relax it completely. Now this is your proof to yourself that you are in hypnosis. That's all there is to it. You expected it to be something very much different. You expected that you would not be aware of the sound of my voice, that you would not be aware of what's going on around you. This is all there is to hypnosis. When you are able to take the arm test and you cannot move your arm, you are under hypnosis and I am teaching you this is the technique I am trying to teach you. That's all there is to it. And before we finish this little recording, you will be able to do this for yourself. You will be able to bring yourself into deep hypnosis just as you are now. Now I am keeping you in what we call a light trance because you have to be aware of everything I'm telling you. If you were in a deep trance and were not aware, I couldn't tell you how to use it yourself. And so, all you have to remember in the first stage of auto-hypnosis is that you relax and let go. That's all there is to it. Anybody can do it. And you are now in hypnosis. And let me tell you what I want to teach you while you are under hypnosis. What I'm telling you now is what we call a post-hypnotic suggestion. When you awaken, you will be able at any time to have a key word, and the key word is relax. And when you say to yourself, relax, you will be able to take yourself into the deep state of hypnosis in which you are now. And when you get there, you want to use it. Now, there are a couple of rules about this thing. One is you have to practice regularly. You have a regular time every day where you go to some place as quiet as it is here in the studio and you go off by yourself and practice it. You want to do it by yourself. You'll not get the same results when you're with other people. You have a regular place in which you do it, and you'll soon learn to take yourself into hypnosis very, very rapidly. Now you're going to try 
to achieve something under hypnosis. You're going to try to either increase some capacity or you're going to try to discipline yourself. It is not difficult. You can learn to control your temper, to correct bad habits, to study better, to overcome tension, to put yourself to sleep. It's very easy if you have insomnia to use this method of putting yourself to sleep. All you need do is put yourself in the same hypnotic state you're in now and say, instead of waking yourself up shortly, you'll just say that you'll wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning and after a while you'll wake up at the time you want without even a clock. You can learn to stop quarreling. You can learn to be more patient. Now the one thing you can't learn to do, you can't give yourself a new personality. But you can certainly learn to use the one you have more effectively. Now I'm going to wake you up at the count of five. And after you are awakened, I will say to you, after a while, I will say relax. And on the word relax, which will be your own key word, you will go right back into the same state you are in now without all the preliminaries we went through. And now I'm going to wake you at the count of five, and you're going to feel very relaxed. You're going to feel very wonderful. You're going to be able to achieve auto-hypnosis without any difficulty whatsoever. And you're going to enjoy auto-hypnosis. You're going to be able to use it all through your life. Now, one, waking up, feeling very relaxed, feeling fine, feeling better than you've ever felt before, with all your faculties in perfect condition. Two, waking up, feeling fine, coming out of hypnosis. Three, coming out, coming out, more and more awake. Four, more and more awake. Five, wake up. Now you can test yourself whether or not you've been under hypnosis. You have a kind of a very, very relaxed feeling as though you've been on a two-week vacation. And if you will touch your eyes, you'll find out that your eyes are moist. And this is a very sure sign that you've been under hypnosis. They always are moist. Now I'm going to give you a little while to relax and adjust and get the notion that the next time you're going to do this yourself. It's going to be very, very simple. That's all there is to it. You have learned all there is to putting yourself or anybody else under hypnosis. There's nothing to it. You just let go. And that's all there is to the technique. And now you're going to take yourself under. And this time, before you go under, you're going to figure out something you want to achieve with auto-hypnosis. Some faculty you'd like to strengthen. Something you'd like to eliminate. Some characteristic you'd like to do something about. Perhaps you'd like to be able to concentrate better. Start with just one thing. Don't try too much. Start with one thing and stick to it until you've achieved that because if you find yourself achieving one thing, you'll have more confidence in the method. So, one thing at a time, and then go to something else. So before you put yourself into hypnosis, I want you to have clearly in mind something that you're going to start to work on before you go under again. All right, now we'll have the key word, which is relax. Relax and go right back where you were, deeper and deeper and deeper. You go right back where you were. You know the feeling. You know there's nothing to it but to let go. You just let go completely all over your body. And it's very nice to have an image and a place because this makes it more rapid. 
And if the canoe is pleasant to you, then when you relax, go back into the canoe and just think of yourself drifting, 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 drifting. You're getting lighter and lighter and lighter. You're completely relaxed. You've never felt better in your life. You're completely relaxed, completely relaxed. Now take the 10 deep breaths again and put yourself way deep under. One, as you relax, as you exhale, go deeper and deeper and deeper. Two, deep breath, exhale, and deeper and deeper asleep. Three, inhale, deep, deep asleep. Four, deep breath, and exhale and go deep, 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 deep asleep. Five, inhale, exhale and go deeper and deeper asleep. Six, inhale, exhale and go deep, deep, deep asleep. Let go, let go. You're deeper than you've ever been before. Seven, Inhale, deep, deep asleep, deep asleep. Eight, inhale, deep, deep asleep. Let go of yourself, you're deeper asleep than you've ever been before. Nine, deep breath. And go deeper and deeper and deeper into hypnosis. Ten. Deep breath and let go completely and just let yourself float away. Now test yourself as I tested you before to find out how deeply you are in hypnosis. Raise your arm to the shoulder as you did before. You'll recall I taught it to you. Straight up to the ceiling. Clench your fist. Now really tell yourself your arm is stiff. Stiff, stiff, like an iron rod. Stiff, stiff, stiff. Stiff, stiff. And when you feel that it is stiff, you try to bend it and you cannot. You try to bend it and you cannot. Then you know you are in hypnosis and that's your test. But always say to yourself that now your arm is normal. Now you can bend it. Now it will sink to the floor. And now it will relax completely. And that's important before you let your arm go down to say that it's normal again because you stiffen it and you can bring it back to normalcy. But that's your test to know that you're under hypnosis. And now you can start working on yourself. And now before you went into hypnosis, you had some idea of something you wanted to work on. Well, work on it now. Give yourself some real commands. Tell yourself that you either will do something or you will not do something. Discipline yourself. Whatever it is you had in mind, discipline yourself. Or if it is something like quarreling, for instance, you can say to yourself, I am not going to quarrel. I am not going to be a quarrelsome person. And this you must tell yourself over and over again. Now you know the circumstances under which the behavior you don't like occurs. And you will say to yourself, when such and such happens, I will not quarrel or I will do such and such. Oh, I'm going to let you lie here for a little while to do this disciplining of yourself. I don't know what it is you have in mind. Each of you has a different idea. And so for the next five minutes, I'm going to let you just lie quietly with your own thoughts. And in those next five minutes, you are to discipline yourself. You are to think of a situation either in which you behave in a way you don't want to or a situation where you would like certain behavior to occur more often. 
Keep that situation clearly in mind and discipline yourself. Tell yourself just exactly how you are going to behave under those circumstances. This is the essence of conditioning. Conditioning means training. It means that by telling your deep, relaxed self over and over again that you are going to behave in a certain way, that this deeper self will take hold of the behavior. Now that you are relaxed, you are closer to your real self. You are no longer concerned with body tensions. You are no longer concerned with fears or worries. You are completely relaxed. You are close to yourself. You are close to your best self. I want you to get acquainted with that best self. This is the essence of auto-hypnosis. It helps you make the most of yourself. It helps you make the most of this personality you have. You are picturing yourself in a situation and you are going to discipline yourself. You're going to influence your behavior in that situation. You must not let your mind wander. This is one of the difficulties of auto-hypnosis, that your mind will wander to other things. Don't let it wander. Bring yourself back to the thought with which you're concerned. Bring yourself back to the thing which you wish to control Begin to discipline your mind. Begin to discipline yourself in a certain direction. If you find your mind wandering, start counting and taking deep breaths. Do not permit your mind to wander. Concentrate on the thing you wish to accomplish. Force yourself to dwell on this thought. Picture yourself as you wish to be. Picture yourself in the situation behaving as you think you would like to behave. Behaving in a way that expresses your larger self, your best self. Picture yourself that way and do not permit your mind to wander because auto-hypnosis is a form of discipline. You are close to yourself now. There's nothing between you and yourself. You are getting acquainted with yourself. And you are fashioning that self into what you want it to be. All right, your five minutes are up and I'm going to teach you how to wake yourself up. Wake yourself up slowly as I woke you up. Take plenty of time to do it. Count with me so that the next time you can count by yourself. Now you understand how you go back into auto-hypnosis at any time you wish. You just give yourself the command to relax and then take yourself deeper and deeper with long breath and with counting. To bring yourself out, Count to five because it's not a good idea to come out rapidly. So why don't you count with me? So you bring yourself out this time. One. Coming out, feeling fine, feeling relaxed, normal in every way, every organ in your body feeling in perfect condition. Two. Completely relaxed, coming out, Feeling fine, feeling more relaxed than you've ever been before. Three, coming out, coming out, waking up, feeling fine. Four, waking up, five, wake up. 